Hey guys, today it's my birthday and I reached 40 subscribers, so it's kind of nice, uh, I was hoping for that, and I succeeded. Uh, so in less than a month I have had I double my subscribers, um, because I have been starting to make videos. Okay, so today uh, I'm going to learn you how to write some nicer code uh, in a way called classes. I'm going to write the code in more object oriented so it's going to be easier to read it and understand it uh, for you and for anyone else so it's kind of nice to learn uh, at the beginning okay so let's start off uh, I have a main.cpp file I have a file called integers just hold a couple of integers that we can manually change uh, easier and then I have my big class here game events you can see it's full now but I'm going to delete this later this is how it looks like when it's finished okay so let's start off in the main.cpp file so the first thing we're going to do is to include our class and we did it simply by writing this code okay so now we start off by writing the main function I have tutorials on how you can do this if you don't know how okay so first thing we're going to do is to load the things and we need to initialize uh, our class so I'm going to write it here at the top and I'm just going to write you do this simply by writing the name of the class and then like another name for that so I'm just going to call it the same okay so now we want to load the different things First we want to load uh, the things from the class and then we want to initialize them and then while the game is running uh, right now I'm just writing a couple of comments and while the game is running we want to make these things these things and then we first want to handle input and the second thing we want to do is to draw things to the screen and the last one the last thing we want to do while the game is running is to update and then when we are outside while the game is running we want to clean the game up for because then we're finished right okay so I'm just going to write clean up and then we're going to close it and we're going to return zero as always I, I think you need to do this always okay so now we need to have function for all this, so right underneath here I'm just going to write game load, we will have a function for that and under under init I'm just going to erase all these in the class okay so then we have a function under here called game init And then we have want to check an if statement here that check a boolean to see what what value it got and if it's true uh, the game is running and it will handle all the functions inside of it. So it's going to we will have a boolean to check the running state. And writing this code above is the same as writing if that's equal to true. Okay, so if that boolean is equal to true, it will do these things inside of here. Okay, so handle input is going to be fairly easy. And the game input. Okay. And the next thing here is going to be game draw. And then we have the game update. 
interaction little thingy and then we ask the game to close it so inside of here when the game is running it will do these kind of things and then we of course need to have a cleanup function when we close the game so I'm just going to write this by writing game clean okay so we're finished with our main function let's go ahead and write the class and first off we want to include our integers and then we want to write our class first we want to set the surface it's going to be called screen and then we want to initialize that then we want to write our functions first the game load function and then the game init function and then the game draw function oops the game the game input function as well and then we have our function for game updates and then a function for game clean click game cleanup and then we need to have a boolean up, up here uh, to check if the game is running or not and then we'll create a boolean here that will check the value it will return the value of the game running okay so close that one and let's start off by writing this code it always leaves it this one empty okay so first you write the name of the class and then the function name so the first one here is called game load so we can keep that one empty and then we have our game in it game in it I just want to leave or I'm going to leave all this empty in this video and in the next part um, I'm going to put some code inside there game events and of the game input I had the game draw and after that one I had the game update and after that one had game clean and the last one here is our boolean to return the value and this function is called running state and it will return the value of the boolean game running So we're finished writing that code. We're going to go into the integer function and delete some things here. And I only have the include stl.h. So the mean of tpp is the file that will take first the class here. That's like our main game. And then we have our integers which ha have all the include functions and some constants and like integers that we can manually change. Okay, so uh, that's all in this part and I hope to see you in the next. See ya.